When you're using virtual machines, sometimes you want your virtual machines to be able to communicate with each other. You can do this by going ahead up here and clicking on this section next to tools and network. Next to network, you will see this NAT networks. So NAT networks is a network where you can have multiple machines that are all able to communicate through a single NAT gateway. So I go ahead and click create. And then I have this NAT network. If I decided to name a network, I can name it something. So I could call it a maybe red network. I may want to create a second one called blue network and maybe want to have something in between, but you can create it. And now if you want to be able to communicate into the network, you can't do it normally from your host machine, but what you can do is create an IP forwarding thing. So if I wanted to create this, I go ahead and do a plus, and then I create a rule, and I can say I want my host IP address, so if it's a 127.0.0.1, and maybe I want port 2222 to go to the internal IP address of maybe 10 with guest port 22. And so what that will do is make it so I can use a client on my host machine to be able to communicate with the IP address in the guest machine of 10 0 to 10 port 22 by using the port 2222 on the host machine. So if that makes sense, or even if it doesn't, that's what it does. And then when I go over to my client, in order to have it actually use that, I can click on the settings, click on network, and select the network NAT. Then I can decide which network I'm connecting to. So in this case, I would be on the red network. If I have other ones, I can have multiple ones. And then I can have second adapters, and I can have something that's on both networks if I want to have it be a gateway between the two for communication. So that should help you figure out how to set up machines on your NAT network.